Jesse Nussbaum had a major role in creating Santa Fe's Spanish Pueblo revival style. Why is Jesse Nussbaum's work significant to the American Southwest and Santa Fe in particular? I think most people know him as a very important photographer of our region. He took thousands of photographs between about 1907 and about in the early 1920s of Santa Fe, of northern New Mexico. He's also uh, important to Southwestern history because he played a key role in a movement to make Santa Fe look like it looks today. So in, in terms of the, the Spanish Pueblo revival architecture. So Nussbaum was um, a member of a, a really small group who devised what that Spanish Pueblo architecture was going to look like. Um, and then they brought this various projects through to, through to completion. Two of the most recognizable projects that Nussbaum worked on were the restoration of the Palace of the Governors. He oversaw the restoration of both inside and outside, but they rebuilt the portal um, that faces the Santa Fe Plaza. And in 1917, he worked on the project for the New Art Museum. He was the right person for the job, I think, by temperament. He also was a person who seemed to have been a jack of all trades, um, a person who mastered building. He also was a master, a master woodworker. And also, he was an archaeologist. And he had a, a real uh, skill. In, in photography, and, and they employed other photographers also, but it was always Nussbaum that, that they went back to, mm -hmm. to, to bring home the, the best photographs of the digs or the buildings or um, any of the other projects that, that were afoot in Santa Fe during his time period. He spent many years uh, uh, driving around the Southwest on his motorcycle, um, taking photographs of Pueblo uh, architecture at all the Pueblos north and south of, of Santa Fe. He also spent a great deal of time driving around the Four Corners area, making photographs of archeological ruins when they decided to think about how those, those architectural styles might represent Santa Fe and New Mexico in general to the world, um, he had a great archive of information to draw on. I'm struck by the intention of, of how this style is still with us today. Could you talk a little bit about why moving forward that was important to Santa Fe and to the American Southwest? was always important from both a scientific perspective and also from the perspective of, of uh, cultural tourism. So from the very beginning, uh, you have a, a number of culture leaders, like, like the archaeologist Edgar Hewitt um, or the other, the, uh, another archaeologist, uh, Sylvanus Morley, um, who were working with, um, with, with Nussbaum um, together to learn about the, the archaeology and culture of this region. Very early on, when Edgar Hewitt founded his Museum of New Mexico and the School of American Archaeology in Santa Fe, that was in 1907 and 1909, they began to think about how Santa Fe might be a destination um, for tourism. Remember, this is during the time period when New Mexico is trying to gain statehood. Mm -hmm. And so, and also, they begin to work very closely with the Chamber of Commerce. And the, the issue is, how do we attract more business and tourism to Santa Fe. And the solution that was the most workable solution um, was to think about how we could 
could understand and mine the culture of the region. What was their job as cultural agents in the preservation of, of the heritage as we see it and the things that they built and things that they left us? During this time period, it was by no means certain that, that the Spanish Pueblo revival style was going to be Santa Fe's uh, ticket to fame. Sure. So in, in contrast, during the mm -hmm. territorial period before statehood, um, there was widespread demolition of these old adobe buildings. Mm -hmm. And they were thought to be backwards, they were thought to be unadaptable for modern living, and we have um, a large number of buildings come, going up in other historical styles. In fact, there were articles in the newspapers in Santa Fe saying that, thank goodness, the last of some of these adobe buildings are being torn down in Santa Fe. This mm. was in the early 1890s. So it's, it's amazing that just 20 years later, there was a revival of this kind of architecture. How does architecture impact our day to day? in the Southwest, in the American Southwest, and in Santa Fe. The Spanish Pueblo revival style is one that tried to pull the best qualities from several different historical styles. So it's a, it's a hybrid. And the fact that it's architecture that in its purest form is adobe architecture is ideally suited for life in northern New Mexico's desert. What did Jesse Nussbaum leave us with? Well, in a, apart from an archive of more than 10,000 items, Santa Fe's status as a leader in cultural tourism is, is closely linked to the activities of Nussbaum and his colleagues 100 years ago. There are some very specific reasons why Santa Fe and Northern New Mexico look as they do today. These reasons are related to, uh, to why we value this architecture and the, and the cultures the cultural heritage from the native peoples of this area and the Spanish colonial inhabitants. And there was a time when that was not the case. They were not valued. And Nussbaum was a key figure in uh, rebuilding that reputation.